Hello, my darlings. Welcome to your daily mini reading. I am going to use my guardian angel tarot and we are going to pull four cards for you. We're going to pull where you are consciously now, what you are consciously aware of, what you're thinking and feeling. Then we're going to pull a card for your subconscious, what may be going on behind the scenes within you that you're unaware of energetically. We're going to pull advice from spirit card and then we're going to also pull a card of what is behind the scenes within the universe that is happening at this time for you. So let's see what wishes to to come out thank you for this reading so consciously this is for those that most need to hear the message my darling my readings are timeless and if it resonates then you are meant to hear this message within divine design for you angel so let's see what wishes to come out thank you spirit conscious card thank you there we are flew out so i'm seeing the queen of wands and i'm also seeing the ace of wands so gorgeous energy gorgeous manifestation energy happening at this time now let's have a look at subconsciously what is happening goodness that came out fast for you we do have the four of uh cups thank you spirit you're working very hard to overcome something my darlings and then we have spirit's advice thank you lots of cards wishing to come out release has come out for you as well um, and in fact, there were some other cards that came out. So I'm going to take one more for the release card. Thank you. Thank you, Spirit. And the world. Perfect. And then we're going to see what's coming in for you. What's sort of behind the scenes that you're unaware of. Thank you, Spirit. What is coming in? The lovers. Okay. So. Consciously, you're doing a fantastic job. You've got the Queen of Wands here and you have got the Ace of Pentacles. You have been working very hard, my darling, on uh, releasing negative, um, consciously working very hard on releasing negative uh, considerations, um, views that you may have had about yourself. Uh, because this is the Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles represents that God-given gift, that divinely timed gift uh, that you are manifesting for yourself because you now believe that you deserve it. You know, we manifest consciously or subconsciously all the time in every thought and word and action that we do. And then sometimes we're surprised when things happen in our life because maybe we've been talking about it and giving it a lot of attention. So the universe goes, okay, there you are. Um, but I feel with this, that within this space that you are, you've made it a priority to really truly focus on what it is that you really do want in your life and to uh, focus your attention on that. This is the Queen of Wands. This is somebody who is desiring because she knows that she is worthy of it and that she is desirable, that she's very good at what she does. It is about being brilliant at what you do. It's about being very talented as well. But it's about not letting your energy be so distracted by other things around you and very much protecting your energy space uh, within yourself. It is about believing in yourself, my darling. And uh, it is about knowing that when you play the game of make belief, when you play the game of make belief, you are in believing it, you are making it happen. So consciously, I feel that you have, um, yeah, you've, you've been doing an extraordinary job of working on yourself and coming to this great space of consciously manifesting and understanding the powers, uh, the empowerment, the powerful uh, vibration of uh, consciously manifesting and trusting in the laws of the universe. Now, subconsciously, you have got the Four of Cups. And so what I'm feeling with this is that you know this. There is, there is within all of us as well, I am so sorry, my phone, uh, I just need to put do not disturb on. Thank you, Spirit. Within all of this, um, subconsciously, you know that there is a residue of... And it is, it is always there within us. If we were always able to catch our thoughts and to catch our feelings, then we would be sitting there in a space of the Buddha, wouldn't we? Because we would be ever present, ever omnipresent, ever, ever sort of in that space of, of at completely at peace. But there is within us, we are humans as well as being spiritual beings. So look at the human being aspect here. And it is us who chose as, as spiritual beings to come here to be a human, to experience, to play this game of hide and seek with ourselves, to discover who we are, to find out that we are 
um, a, a individual representation of the universe within ourselves. So what Spirit is saying with this Four of Cups is there is within you, but it's okay because you're recognizing it, an aspect of yourself that is still looking at the past, your thoughts and feelings are still going back a lot to what you felt was past endeavors that have failed or things that you wished you could have done or should have done differently. And spirit is saying to you, try and catch yourself with those thoughts and feelings because they are creating within you uh, that vibration of, um, well, it's a negative um, reflection of yourself or a negative reflection of where you are presently. It is a non-acceptance of the present. It is a non-acceptance that you are exactly where you're meant to be and that everything that's happened for you has meant to have happened for you. So it is, it's, 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 it's not completely coming into the radical acceptance of who you are, but it's okay because there are, if you choose to see it, do you see with the apples that have fallen from the tree? These represent opportunities that are there for you right now. And for you to be aware, to stop and think and go, do you know what? What are these opportunities that I, I have got that are in my life now that are presenting themselves to me? Because this is a very powerful card alongside this. You are consciously manifesting. So look at your past life with a complete gratitude of what is it manifested into your life now and that's what spirit wants you to look at their advice is you've gone then got the world card alongside the release card so here is the release card this is the death card and so you have gone through what we call a death and rebirth it is the death it is the death of the old identity side of yourself that thought it was simply this identity and personality having to control and fight for everything within your environment and feeling fearful and feeling the need to hold on to things you've gone through a complete completion and renewal from that where you are now understanding with that release the freedom that comes from making choices from understanding you are an aspect of divinity and that actually you are a powerful manifester. And it is the belief in yourself and the belief in the universe that allows this to happen. So this has been a, a spiritual evolution for you. And spirit is, is saying, please recognize that within yourself because you as, as a soul chose to step out of what can be a very comfortable view of life and a comfortable environment and a comfortable energetic structure but sometimes, you know, we are here as spiritual beings within a human body to evolve, to expand, to come into this lifetime, to remember who we truly are, the essence of us, and then what we're going to do about that once we have that information. And in order to get to that point, we have to step outside of our comfort zone. Sometimes it causes a great deal of suffering, but we step out of our comfort zone and we embrace the adventure the advent of what is to come to us even though we don't know what that is going to be we have an absolute explicit trust in it and this is where you are with the queen of wands and the ace of pentacles but you also understand that it is necessary at different stages of our our, our journey our spiritual evolutionary journey we are always given the help that we need so if there is for you somebody that can help you at this time with this next stage of this and they have presented themselves to you and you haven't taken it up this perhaps is one of the um, missed opportunities that spirit is presenting to you at this time because um, the seeds of everything our growth like the apple are there within us all the time our our souls um perception and and yearning and uh the reason the soul came here to to be in this human form it's already imprinted within us just like the seed is within the apple like the acorn is to the oak so this is a um you are experiencing the ending of something now and please don't be cross at yourself if you are your thoughts and your feelings are turning towards the past. That is natural. That is, as a human, that's what happens. For the most part, we don't know what our thoughts and feelings are for, I think, 90, 80, 90% of the time. But it's about you're at that place now 
where spirit is saying, your soul is saying, you can catch those thoughts, you can catch those feelings, and you can control how you respond to them. And you can choose then to think about something different. You can, you can regroup, <laughs> regather, and liberate that energy somewhere else, which is in you, it's the Queen of Wands manifesting at this time. But it's about catching that hamster wheel of thoughts that sometimes takes us down a path that we 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 almost go oh my god i'm here i'm thinking about this thing again i didn't realize so just it's it's about catching it okay subconsciously you're doing it spirit saying make it your conscious intent to remember the power of thoughts and words the universe was created by sound whether it's a sound vibration that's coming out of you or a vibration within you with your thought you are creating all the time so remember the power of that um, and then alongside that, you have the world. But they are saying that this is a completion for you. You're about to hit a new cycle. You're about to hit a new cycle. You may feel at this time, oh, nothing's happening. Subconsciously, you may be thinking, oh, my goodness, nothing's really happening. I wish something would happen. Why is it not happening? And Spirit is saying, you know, within the world energy, the world card energy, there is always a pause time. We don't jump off one magical mystery ride or one um fan, fun fair ride you know scary ride to get straight back onto another we always tend to have a little break don't we and this is your break time between the two magical mystery rides that you're going to be doing you're having a break you're having maybe a bit of popcorn you're having a walk around you're talking about the last one saying my goodness wow and now you're about to bark on the next one but you're just having a little break at the moment so this is this is spirit's uh, affirmation confirmation for that for you and you know you can see here a big smile here on on this angel's face it is to say congratulations you have completed succeeded as a soul level what it is that you were meant to receive within this last energetic structure of that cycle and you're about to expand into new one and that is giving the, you the freedom the i'm getting financial freedom as well but it's also giving you the energetic freedom to now really have some fun consciously creating now the other thing that's come out which you are unaware of that's coming in for you this is the lover's card so whether this represents a beautiful relationship that is about romantic love but it can represent a really deep soulmate relationship friendship it is on its way to you and it is something that is because you have shifted into a different energetic sphere place and you are now attracting in that person to reflect you so trust it don't fear it and trust it when it comes in my darling this is really beautiful and this is under the guidance of of spirit for you um it is also a card of continuing to understand that when we do everything from the heart space when we do everything from a space of love and understanding and compassion or the intention of doing it from love and understanding compassion even though it can sometimes be very hard hard if we have been hurt then we are helping ourselves we are releasing ourselves because you know the lover's card is a is a is a relationship that has that will be very very important for you it's going to be very committed connection for you at this time so there we are my darlings i'm going to wrap it up i'm going to try and keep it as short as possible i look forward to doing another reading for you tomorrow and continuing with my star sign readings i'm not sure which card spirit is going to give me um, for which is the next star sign but we will see and i'm also going to do the relationship uh reading as well for you so so much love to you and take care bye bye